Well, hello everybody, Spectacular, the Silver Stacular is here. In this video, I'm going to show you the best $20 grab bag that you have ever seen. I can almost guarantee that. I had Coin Guy help me out with it. It's big, it's really neat, and it's for a great cause. Watch the video, you're going to enjoy this one. So I got a letter in the mail at the P.O. box, and it reads as follows. Dear Mr. Spectacular, my name is Robbie. Me and my dad have been collecting coins together since I was three. I am now nine. My dad started getting sick about a year ago. He found out he has a brain tumor, and the doctors told him it was out of their hands. My dad's favorite thing for us to do together is to open and search grab bags. My dad's coin collection mainly was Morgan Silver Dollars. He had the whole set in an album but had to sell them to buy very expensive medications. I like to collect standing quarters. Next page. <clears throat> I sold mine so I could help my dad. I wrote you hoping you could help me. Would you please put together a grab bag so I can go through it with him one last time? It would mean so much for the both of us to get together and go through a grab bag together one more time at his bedside. Because of the COVID-19 virus, we all have to be standing six feet apart. If you could please make up a grab bag for us, I will do... Any odd jobs to pay for it, I get a $5 allowance every Friday. If you can make me one grab bag, next page, I will send you my $5 allowance every single week until you tell me it's paid for. I have never missed a single day of landscaping with my dad, but the only thing we had left together was coins, and now they are gone too. Mr. Spectacular, it would make my dad so happy for us to do a grab bag together one more time. Hopefully I can start sending you a little more than $5 per week to build up enough to finally get my dad one Morgan dollar back before he has to leave us. Very sad letter. Uh, one more page. Mr. Spectacular, would you please think about it? My address is below if it would be a yes. My first $5 will be mailed Friday, June 5th. He does collect only U.S. coins. Below I'm sending you a $5 payment. That $5 gold piece was bought by my dad on eBay for me. It cost me a year worth of allowances, and it was my only Christmas present. It was my best coin until I tried to sell it to help my dad and found out it was fake. You can have it or throw it away. Thank you so much, Robbie. So Robbie has a very sad situation, of course. He's, his dad has a brain tumor, and uh, man, what a what a cool hobby, though, that he and his dad were um, you know, sharing together uh, coins. Um, wish my dad had done some of that stuff with me. Uh, my dad ended up getting out of my life, but not due to uh, a brain tumor or anything like that. He just up and left. Um, so, Robbie, um, I want to help you out. And actually, I used my buddy Coin Guy. Um, I went over to his shop today, and I told him the situation. And I said, can we get a grab bag for Robbie? Uh, before I show you the grab bag, I do want to show you this $5 gold coin that Robbie sent me. Um, it is a fake, and it's one of those eBay fakes. Um, it's not magnetic. It doesn't show up good on the Sigma Metalytics machine. It shows all the way to the right. So not a good coin at all. Um, and sorry that eBay, you know, got you pretty much on this. Some some scammy seller out there, um, you know, made a, made a pretty buck off of you. And it's terrible. Uh, I despise when people do that. But don't worry, Robbie. I'll make sure that people get, um, you know, some information off of this. So it won't be kind of in vain that... You just, you know, you got this thing. It's it's going to go to some good use. But let's go to that $20 grab bag. And I want to show you what the coin guy put together for you. So here it is. It's inside of this bag. I'm going to dump it all out. It's a bunch of stuff. Bunch of stuff. Let's see what we got here. All right. And I'm going to go over all of it because why not, right? Let's see. Dump, dump, dump. All right. Move that to the side. And $20 grab bag. Let's start with whatever this is right here. This is um, some kind of like, uh, you know, a little commemorative set right here. Let's see what it says. Um, the anniversary of the Euro. So there's a, an anniversary of the Euro set and has, you know, several different European places on it there, countries. Um, pretty cool little set. So that's going to go to you. Let's keep on going. I got to go kind of quickly because there's a lot of different things. Let's see. You've got this right here. Uh, it says the District of Columbia. 
and it's got some quarters on it, the Philadelphia Mint and Denver Mint quarters. And it's got some information, so there will be some history and some learning involved. Hopefully you don't mind learning too much. And there's that side. Anyways, we got one of those. Going to the next thing. And then it's right here. Let's see, statehood quarter dollar coins. So there's five statehood quarters. And you can see them right here. Uh, Georgia, Connecticut, Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey. So you'll get one of those. Again, it has some information. Going to be a little learning involved. Learning, knowledge is power, right? Let's open this up and see what's in here. This is a 2001 United States Mint 50 State Quarters Proof Set. So let's open this up. Look at those pretty things, huh? So more quarters right there. Those will be fun. And I'm going to send this out. So when you see this video, Robbie should have already had his package. So um, he's going to get his package before this video even comes out, which I think is you know, a neat little part of it. But anyways, um, you're also going to get a number one spectacular and coin guy signed sticker. So this is the first sticker that coin guy and, and I have ever signed together. So you'll get one of those. That's the number one. Uh, what is this right here? This is United States Mint Westward Journey Nickels Series. So you get uh, three nickels right there. Pretty nice ones too. Got a beautiful cartwheel on. And we got some coins inside of flips. Here's a, uh, oh, a poor man's double die. So uh, you can see the, you know, poor man's doubling right there, which is pretty much non-existent. Um, the 1955, the really good doubling is quite, quite shocking how, how deep the doubling is. But this is the poor man's double die right here. And uh, you'll get that nice wheat scent and a crazy little gold plated Kennedy half dollar. You'll get that little little piece of craziness. And now let's get to some of this stuff. I got uh, a few dollars in wheat cents here, it looks like. And let's see what else. Oh, we got a buffalo nickel and does have a date. Looks like 1929. Uh, what else? Let me see the silvery looking stuff, the shiny stuff. Um, looks like a standing Liberty quarter, 1927. What else? Um, another Buffalo nickel. Man, I love these Buffalo nickels. What a, what a cool piece of history, huh? Looks like a 1928. Let's see. Oh, you know what else I see in here? Hold on. I just seen one. Look at this. Look at this. I see a 1901 Indian head scent. Those are cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, another Buffalo nickel. So 1936 Buffalo nickel. Uh, another Buffalo. Let's see. A couple more Buffalo nickels here. A 37 and a 40 something. No, a 30. A 1930, 1937. So again, pretty cool. What's this down here? Ooh, look at that. A V nickel. A 1911 V nickel. Pretty fabulous. Uh, more silvery looking stuff. Of course, these are not actual silver. They're silver colored. These are actually, you know, nickel. 1937 Indian head. And a couple more Indian heads. Man, I love these Indian heads. A couple more. Uh, let's see, I got a V nickel here, another Indian head, and a Indian head scent. And I think there's some more Indian head scents in here amongst all these wheat scents. But listen, Robbie, that's going to be for you to discover. Um, they are in there. It's a cool little setup, don't you think? I think it was pretty neat. Uh, probably the best $20 grab bag that you're ever gonna find. Um, and Coin Guy was able to help us out with this. So that's really something cool. Hopefully your dad will uh, enjoy going through this stuff with you. Um, usually in these grab bags, you get you know a few weed cents and some some real just terrible coins. Uh, there's some you know a large range here. There's some really nice looking uh, coins inside those uh, little holders and. You got a lot of cool wheat scents to go through. Some really neat things. And Robbie, we hope for the best for you and your dad, for sure. You know, it's just a little thing that uh, Coin Guy and I can do to get together and, and help out when somebody needs help. Um, you know, it's 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 a bad time in the world for everybody right now, but it sounds like uh, you're having it even worse with what you got going on. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, priority shipped out to you so you can get it ASAP. And uh, yeah, man, hopefully, hopefully you enjoy it, Robbie. And... Uh, Anybody else watching, please give your uh, best wishes to Robbie and his father down in the comments. Uh, that would be great. Thank you very much for reaching out to me, Robbie. I do appreciate it. And for sending me the uh, the coin that pretty much, you know, 
ruined your little eBay career probably, huh? You probably did not want to go to eBay after this thing. Oh, and by the way, Robbie, this is a gift. This is not something you got to, you know, go mow lawns and pay me back for. This is just, this is a gift. So um, don't worry about, you know, the $5 for me. Use those $5 payments and go buy some more coins. Um, that would be, that would be the best thing for me. If you did that, use that money to go buy yourself some more coins. All right, Robbie, so I got your stuff packed up. I don't have a shipping label on it yet, but I think there's just enough room for one more coin. So I will give you this 1890 San Francisco Morgan dollar in an airtight capsule. I know you mentioned it in the letter. Um, there you go. And that should, that should just fit in there with everything else. You gotta help out people in need and it's a rough time right now. And uh, let's, let's do our best to, to help each other out. Nice. Right on top. All right, so then we got some uh, some wheat cents here, uh, a couple silver pieces, some buffaloes, uh, V nickels. So Robbie's going to get a good little variety of things. Um, this stuff right here will go to him too. So this is going to be our our twenty dollar uh, you know grab bag. Let's call it the the coin guy grab bag for Robbie, um, just for fun, just to give back to him and uh, his dad. And, and we're giving him number one. Yeah, we got to give him sticker number one too. That's very important. My goodness, I almost forgot about that. And sticker number one will go to him. So just a little, you know, a little hope you hope you do well and uh, wish the best for him and his father and something to something for them to go through. So thanks a lot, Coin Guy, for for doing that and Take helping care, that dude. Stay out. healthy. Thank you. Yeah, uh, with this video, what I want to do is I have um, a few stickers here, and there's like a number two. Um, number one will go to Robbie, who's the uh, the guy, the the kid, I guess, with the the father. Uh, number two, yeah, so number one will go to Robbie. Uh, number two can go to the first person that comes into the shop that mentions this video. And if, that, if that's okay with you, if you don't mind sure. giving it out. No problem. And then uh, a couple more stickers, too, that will have your signature on there. That uh, people that mention the video, they can they can grab a sticker. Also, make sure you guys check out Coin Guy. Uh, he's a great dude. I'll have information in the description for him if you want to check out what he offers. But now, I got to go. Uh, Robbie, hopefully you enjoy this stuff. Spectacular is out. <laughs>